How's it going, you guys? AZ Plow 21 here with an experiment video in Out of the Park Baseball 23. Um, so basically, so what's going to happen in this video is I have already simulated 50 years into the future in Out of the Park Baseball 23, and I just want to take a kind of a deep dive and take a look and see what the game projects will happen within the next 50 years of baseball. Um, so I'm going to take a look at things like Hall of Fame, what teams have won the championship, if there's been any like rule changes or anything like that, if there's been any added teams or, you know, like if any teams have relocated, things like that. So that's kind of what I'm going to do in this video. Just take a look and see what within the game, what happens if you just simulate 50 years into the future. I think it's very interesting to see what kind of stuff happens when you just simulate. And so we're going to go ahead and take a deep dive. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and go straight to our history index. <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look at the champions of the years from when we got started. So 2022, so we have the Braves, Angels, the Royals, the Astros, the Rays win one, the Padres, the White Sox, the Royals again, the Padres, the Athletics, the White Sox. Uh, the Phillies, the Jacksonville Golden Eagles. We'll have to look into that one. The Jacksonville Golden Eagles in the year 2034, so 12 years from now. Either an expansion team or someone relocated. We'll have to look into that. The New York Yankees, the Diamondbacks, the Mets, the Red Sox, the Mets. Mets kind of had a... The Mets and the Angels kind of had a little thing going on here. The Mets, the Red Sox, the Angels beat the Mets. Angels beat the Golden Eagles. The Mets beat the Orioles. Blue Jays win two straight. The Orioles win again uh, over the Brewers, Diamondbacks, Nationals, Mets, Twins, Royals, the Rockies, the Reds made the World Series three out of four years here. The Reds were kind of a dynasty, honestly. The White Sox, the Angels win one again. The Red Sox, the Reds, Rockies, no, National League won like, what is this, eight out of nine? <laughs> In a row, that's tough. Uh, Phillies, the Royal, the Miami Americans. Okay. So I'm guessing the Marlins must have uh, rebranded at some point. The Miami Americans. Uh, the Cubs win two in a row. The Braves, the Yankees. Uh, the Cubs again. The Orioles beat the Americans. The Rockies, the Guardians. They went to the World Series a couple times in a row. Uh, the Mariners beat the Golden Eagles did pretty well for themselves if that's an expansion team they did really well for just being an expansion team that'd be really cool uh the padres the san antonio princes okay that's something we're gonna have to look into as well the san francisco giants win one the blue jays and then this past year the st louis cardinals beat the seattle mariners to win the world series all right so the first thing that i kind of think about is the angels won a couple which i'm happy about how many exactly did they win? Angels, one, two, three. Okay, so they if they win three in my lifetime, I'll be okay with that. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I also like the fact, didn't an expansion team win it? First, uh, Chicago Cubs. Where did I see that? The Jacksonville Golden Eagles. Apparently they've been around for a while, so it must have been. Wait, hold on. Right. Uh, champion. Thirty-three. Twenty fourteen. Okay. Well, it's definitely not an expansion team, so we'll have to check and see who that team was. Um. So let's go all the way to evolution and just see what happened. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. National League removes designated hitter rule. We already had that happen. Oh, the National League removes designated hitter rule. Oh, they immediately took it away. That's interesting. Pittsburgh Pirates relocate to Jacksonville, and that's where they became the Golden Eagles. So that's the Pittsburgh Pirates that won a World Series eventually. Good for them. The Miami Marlins changed their name to the Americans. The National League... 17 years later introduces the designated hitter rule active roster size lower to 25 players 
uh, DL length shortened to 11 days. The Detroit Tigers reloaded, relocated to Indianapolis. Oh man, that's not too far away from Detroit, but I'm, uh, things must have been going tough in Detroit for them to relocate. That's a storied franchise, the Indianapolis Tigers. Uh, the, the very next year, league expansion by two teams, the San Antonio Princes, which we saw, and the Nashville Red Devils. Interesting. The Nashville Red Devils. And then the <laughs> National League removes the designated hitter rule again. Uh, free agency minimum service time increased to seven years. I'm sure the players union loved that. The mound height lowered, more offense expected. Okay. So it must have, uh, must have been popping off the bats in 2057. Roster size lowered to 24 players. Injured, less, injured list length increased to 13 days. And then another expansion. The Las Vegas Skyhawks and the El Paso Roadrunners. And then the Tampa Bay Rays relocate to Detroit. So it took only 48 years for the Tampa Bay Rays to finally relocate. But who I didn't see relocate were the Oakland Athletics, who are probably going to relocate. But Las Vegas finally gets their baseball team in 2064. So congratulations. All right. So we kind of have what's going on. So let's take a look and just see what the standings were this year. The Detroit Lumber Kings. Okay. I like that gr like green kind of look too. Not sure it's a Detroit color, but that's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, oh, the Indianapolis River Sharks. Not a big fan of that logo. And uh, they're apparently not a very good team right now. Um, do, do, do. So yeah, the San Antonio Princes. That's a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool logo. I'm not gonna lie, because it's a prince. It's a P, but then the kind of the side of it looks like a crown. That's pretty cool. All right, Oakland A's in last place. Probably still only drawing like 2,000 fans to their stadium. Uh, Miami Americans did not have a very good year. That is a pretty cool logo, though. I will give them that. And the Las Vegas Skyhawks. That is a very basic logo. All right. And then the Jacksonville Golden Eagles. Not a fan of that logo. Just two letters. I would have much rather them have an actual eagle or something going on. And then Nashville Red Devils. Again, that's literally just an R on top of a D. A four-year-old can come up with that logo. Come on, you guys. Uh, now, this is what I'm talking about. The El Paso Roadrunners. That is a really cool logo. Kind of the R. It can it can be either for a Ram or for like the Roadrunners. Kind of looks like a lasso, I guess. Um, but yeah, pretty cool logo. And uh, yeah, interesting. So I believe that's 34 teams now in the MLB. I feel like it would have expanded a lot more than that. So just four teams added in what 50 years. <coughs> uh, at some point. I feel like, I don't know, because I feel like this is another experiment video that I want to do. I want to do an experiment where there's promotion and relegation within the Major League Baseball. And there's just like a bunch of other like, basically like mine, like single A, double A, triple A, like that's, they're all fair game to make it to the majors. So it's 100% free agency. Um, and then whoever like does the best gets up to the MLB and so on so on i think that'd be really cool like a promotion relegation system and it just makes it so that way it's like free agency to all so like if you're a good player you're gonna get good money and go to a mlb team you know and then if you're a minor league player um and you're not that great like you're gonna obviously you know be with one of the lower division teams i think that's a pretty cool idea i'll probably end up making a video like that in the near future uh but anyways let's go ahead and take a look back at the uh, let's take a look at the finances see if the finances have changed any uh top payroll is the toronto blue jays with 286 million dollars um i feel like that's definitely not right so 50 years so let me do some really quick math uh so average inflation per year do 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 Average inflation per year, U.S. Okay, average inflation, so 3.8% per year. So what will $10, okay, so what will $10 be worth in 50 
tears. Is there an inflation calculator? Okay, here we go. 2022 and then 2072. I'm doing a little inflation calculator. Just $1. Uh, yep. All right. So $1 in 2022 should be $4.38 in 2072. So if we divide that by basically four, essentially all these teams are poor. So either there was a very, 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 very big recession, kind of a depression almost, or this game just doesn't account for inflation like that. I, I wouldn't doubt that it's the second, but I also wouldn't doubt that there was a depression at some point within the 50 years. I just don't think there's any way for the game to account for that, but we're just going to pretend that there was a massive stock market crash and there was a depression, and that's why the payroll is only $286 million, which is, I, I, I don't want to say close to what it is now, but I'd imagine it's pretty close to what it is now. Um, attendance, Rockies leading in attendance. Where are the Angels at? 23, that seems about right, honestly. Hey, at least this is accurate. The Oakland A's, even with expansion teams, are still the worst team in, uh, <laughs> are still the worst team as far as attendance and attendance revenue. And they still have not relocated, by the way. Interesting. Awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, the Blue Jays are the top spender along with the Cardinals, the Mets, the Braves, and the Rockies. Who are the least? So we got the Las Vegas Skyhawks, the Miami Marlins, pretty much. The Brewers, the A's, and the Orioles. Kind of similar. I don't know. The Brewers kind of spend a little bit of money now. Red Sox don't spend any money. That is different. That is different. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at other stuff here. Um, Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at the Hall of Fame here and see what we've got going on. Uh, sortable Hall of Fame. Uh, okay. This is by the youngest players. Let's look at all the catchers. Avon, I don't think any catchers got inducted. No. No other catchers got inducted. That's crazy. So there was not one catcher in the, in the last 50 years who was good enough to get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Let's look at the infielders. We got this guy, Melvin Diaz. Let's see. 429 home runs. 290 average hitter. War of 80.8. Came into the league at 20. Look at all those accomplishments for Melvin Diaz. Dominican and Spanish. Alistair Bryant. Okay. Australian. Ethan Hill, first baseman for the Rangers. Uh, oh, we got a guy from the Angels, Bill Huareca. First ballot Hall of Famer, 98.5%. A lot of these guys are first ballot Hall of Famers, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see who, like, real-life players have gotten inducted. Uh, David Ortiz, yep. Okay, let's go a little bit down further. We have Chipper Jones. Todd Helton got inducted on his eighth try. Jeter Ortiz, Rodriguez. Adrian Beltre got inducted. That's cool. Albert Pujols, of course, first ballot. Miggy Cabrera, first ballot. Freddie Freeman, sixth ballot. Wow. I feel like kind of disrespectful to Freddie, unless he absolutely tanked towards the end of his career. Jose Altuve, seventh ballot. Cheater, but okay. Uh, Nolan Arenado, fourth ballot Hall of Famer. Manny Machado, third ballot Hall of Famer. These are only infielders, by the way. Uh, Jose Ramirez, first ballot Hall of Famer with 79.9%. Francisco Lindor, ninth ballot for Lindor. Okay. Cutting it close there. Trey Turner, 5th Ballot Hall of Famer. Carlos Correa, 3rd Ballot Hall of Famer. Vlad Jr., 1st Ballot Hall of Famer, 98.1%. Uh, Tatis Jr., 1st Ballot Hall of Famer, 97.6%. Christian Hernandez. Who is this? I feel like I don't know who this is. Christian Hernandez. Didn't debut until 2025. And what, is, what a career he had. Fraley Encarnacion, 2052 inducted. Oh, wow, okay. 
Yeah, and then that, that's, that, those are all of the, wow, so not really any, like, generated players that got inducted. Not too many, at least. Let's look at the outfielders. Jorge Alcaraz, first ballot Hall of Famer. Wow. This guy won the MVP a buttload of times. The Venezuelan, absolutely killing it. 622 home runs. John Villa Gomez, 504 home runs. Did not win the MVP, but had a good career anyways. All right. A lot more uh, outfielders than infielders. Uh, but it looks like we have Juan Soto, first ballot Hall of Famer, 97.7%. Ronald Acuna Jr., first ballot Hall of Famer. Shohei, on his last attempt. That is mad disrespectful. Shohei Otani, 10th ballot Hall of Famer. Bryce Harper, first ballot Hall of Famer. That makes sense. <clears throat> Mookie Betts, first ballot Hall of Famer. Mike Trout, first ballot Hall of Famer. Was there ever any doubt? 98.3%. According to this, he's going to keep playing until 2030. I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, Vladimir Guerrero, the original, 2018. Wow, okay. So really only... Wow, okay, Jose Gomez. So real life players, there was only one, two, three, four, five, six, six. I mean, these are all like the top players in the league right now. So, I mean, it makes sense. Let's look at the starters. Manny Estrada. Got Ramon Reda. Jose, I'm, I'm noticing a lack of just like, not United States born players, but like, they, these All these players are like kind of some form of Hispanic. David Waters, that's an American name, I guess. But yeah, it looks like it just got taken over by Hispanic players, to be honest. Shane Bieber, 7th Ballot Hall of Famer. Clayton Kershaw, 1st Ballot Hall of Famer, practically unanimous. Max Scherzer, 1st Ballot Hall of Famer. Verlander, 1st Ballot Hall of Famer. Greinke, 2nd Ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, CC got inducted, seventh ballot. Halliday got inducted. That's already happened. And then there we go. Let's look at the relief pitchers. Any relief pitchers? Uh, Jorge Guerra. None from real life, but Jorge Guerra, Danny Araujo, and Jose Abrams. Um, let's see records. Is there any way to check like home run kings? Okay, here we go. Have any records been broken? 2036, the only single season record that's been broken for the most strikeouts by Matt Major. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Matt. Oh, you had a terrible 2036, Matt. You've won a World Series, good for you. Uh, how much money did he make in his life? Is there a way for me to see that? Here we go. This guy made $15 million in his career, and he struck out 301 times in one season. I hope you guys feel good at yourself at, about yourself at home. It is possible to fail repeatedly and still make $15 million over the course of your career. What about singles? Uh, what about career records? Any names that I am not aware of? Trish Speaker, 1937 induction. Uh, Fraley, wait, this guy got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Strikeouts, career strikeouts. Fraley Encarnacion, the strikeout king of all time. Former Oakland A, as you can tell. Wait, they're 2031 champion? Oh, the Oakland A's won a championship. 2037 champion with the Mets. 2039 champion with the Mets. And 2041 champion with the Mets. This guy won a lot of championships. And he definitely helped out his team. An overall war of 92.8. That's insane. Whoa. Wait, hold on. That's strikeouts. He made the Hall of Fame and he struck out that many times in his career? I thought the... Wow. Whoa, he struck out a lot. And he still made the Hall of... It is possible to fail so many times and you can still make the Hall of Fame. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. He struck out 267 times in a year and still managed to get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Probably just because of his bombs, right? 
Yeah, 669 home runs. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the leaderboard looks like as far as home run kings. Home runs. Barry Bond still on top of that. So we've got uh, Tommy Van Busen, 727. He got close. Third all time. Tommy Van Busen, 6246. Yeah, this kid racked. Born in 2008. This guy is currently 13 years old. And somewhere out there, Tommy Van Busen, if you're watching this, I mean, good luck. Career Colorado Rocky. What a guy. What a guy. This guy made $435 million in his career. Tommy Van Busen. An Australian. Just straight up signed a minor league contract with the Rockies. That's awesome. Good for you, Tommy Van Busen. <clears throat> Let's see. Anybody else? Um, Pujols got to 684. Fernando Tatis got 675, top 10. And Carnacion, number 8. Uh, Sandy Sanchez, Dominican. 50. I mean, just overall, good home run hitter. Hall of Fame induction in 2050. And he made $371 million in his career. Good for you, Sandy. Uh, Griffey, Jorge Alcaraz. Tommy Juan Soto got to 608. Cunha Jr. got to 605. Did, uh... Mike Trout only got to 545. What about Otani? Where did Otani end up? Did Otani not end up doing that well on the home run chart? Apparently not. Otani is nowhere to be found on here. Well, I can see now why he was a 10th ballot Hall of Famer. Interesting. All right. Um. Did I take a look at Evolution already? I did. Tampa Bay Rays look relocated to Detroit. Uh, players. Hall of Fame. We just looked at the Hall of Fame. Uh, milestones. Champions. St. Louis. Congrats on being the champions. Um, let's take a look and see if there's a way. Uh, teams. Okay, here. This will probably help a little bit. So the Nationals have won it twice. The Rangers have not won a World Series at all. Princes haven't won one. Nashville Red Devils haven't won. The Brewers have not won a World Series. That is tough. If you're a Brewers fan, I'm sorry. You're not going to ever win a World Series. El Paso hasn't won one. Uh, Detroit Lumber Kings, they've won oh, because they were the Rays. And the Rays won one at a point. Uh, where are my angels at? So four total. I'm okay with that. Like I said, if they win uh, three more in my lifetime, I'd be completely happy with that. That'd be one every like 13 years, essentially. 12 years of pain and then joy. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I mean, I don't really know what else to look at other than just go in depth on every single team i think i'm gonna leave the video like that for now but i mean it's crazy like how much stuff can change over the course of 50 years if you guys want me to go a little bit more in depth on certain teams or you want me to take a look at specific players let me know down in the comment section below please leave a like on the video please subscribe to the channel i'm gonna have a lot more out of the park baseball 23 videos along with my wmma5 videos coming out in the near future appreciate you guys as always have a good one